This is Electric Universe size, and today I'm in Las Vegas. Well, now I'm in Boulder City, and I'm driving by this giant solar panel array. Pretty awesome. That's not why I came here. I am actually driving to the Grand Canyon South Rim. It's gonna take about four hours to get there. So perhaps I will find some interesting sites along the way, but that's my goal is to see the Grand Canyon. I was just a little boy last time I was there, so you can join me. See you there. All right, so I got to a scenic overlook and I'm walking up to this scenic overlook and this to me is my kind of scenery. Seeing these veins right here of this dark rock and you can see how this thing was vertically, it, it appears that it was vertically laid down this way. But those veins right there tell me a story. back there you go see those peaks they look charred and baked right on top I've seen a bunch of that back there too in the park. Uh, I was gonna drive all the way through and then head back south, but they just informed me there's a wildfire. So I could go to the end of the park and then I'll have to turn back around, but I definitely should be able to see the canyon. All right, I'm heading towards Mather Point Open. 900 feet, turn right onto South Entrance Road. Oh, I am here. Right. It's a five minute walk this way. Oh, it looks like it's about to rain. It's gonna be fun. There definitely is rocks everywhere. And you know how I feel about rocks. <laughs> Love rocks. See, but this, look at this stuff. It's some bubbly looking rock. It's all kinds of crazy looking. Look at that, all these veins in there. Mm -hmm. Oh man, oh, I'm getting close, getting closer. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. This is incredible. Oh man. Wow. Look at that. That is insane.
Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Check this out. So, uh, I got here and it started snowing. So it's snowing on me. <laughs> so it's insane. Absolutely crazy. Wow. This is amazing. Man, it's, it's really cold. It, uh, <laughs> it's, it, it's snowing. It's totally snowing. That's where I was just standing over there. Get a look. Oh man. So it's just absolutely incredible. Whoa, that's hard, hard wind right there. Dude, my hands are freezing. So right there, you can see in the bottom. That's where the current would be running through. That would be a red hot glowing stream. totally believe you sir there is no way that this was carved by water I absolutely do not believe that my goal is to recreate this on a much smaller scale obviously but hopefully by the end of the year I would like to recreate this in the lab not on wood but on stone at a little bit different perspective here. So it's so cold, I'm, I'm about to leave, but I just stumbled across this rock and I had to show this to you because this crystal in here these look like where electrical filaments touch this rock crystallizing all of these man it's absolutely gorgeous here longer and film this. This weather looks terrible. Oh my hands. You see my hands shaking? I can't even hold my, my phone straight anymore. <laughs> it got so cold so fast. Holy moly. Another point amphitheater. I'm gonna check this out. Man, there. 
one hand. I'm gonna one hand it. I'm gonna walk over here before I go. Oh man. Oh, that's weird looking. I have to see that. Look at that. It looks awesome. Wow. Wow. That's just absolutely incredible. Okay, folks. I am getting out of here. That was amazing. That was way amazing. Thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, gosh. It's just too amazing. I don't care if I'm freezing or not. It, looking at the screen does it no justice. You have to be here in person. You have to come here if you've never been here. I haven't been here since I was a little boy and I didn't really remember it. But to be here now is just incredible. Oh, man. Okay, well, it got way too cold for me. I had to leave. There was a 23 mile road that went along the Grand Canyon that I was going to check out, but not with this weather. And then I couldn't, I couldn't go down to Phoenix after that. So I'd have to turn around and drive another 23 miles back. So, um, if the weather was better, I was gonna, but nope. So anyway, it's still fun. Crazy experience. That was a four hour detour on my trip. <laughs> to uh, to come see that again, but I think it was worth it, and I hope you thought so too. All right, see you next time.